and we have some like huge noodles and we have some sprouts. Oh, that's so delicious. As you can see, it's a massive dish with noodles. Mm, so tasty, so earthy. Good afternoon everyone, this is David Hoffman from David's Been Here in beautiful Shanghai, China. Today what I wanna do is I wanna take you to see the Shanghai Tower, the second tallest tower in the world, and it's right here as you can see. That is called Pudong, that's like the business financial district. A lot of skyscrapers there, we have the Oriental Pearl right there, Shanghai Financial Center, and then next to we have the Shanghai Tower. As you can see, you can't see the whole thing right now because it's covered with clouds, it's that tall. It's actually 128 stories. It's a mega tall skyscraper, 2,073 feet tall. The tower actually has 132 floors, but five of them are under the ground. And the observation deck is on the 118th floor at 1,791 feet above the ground. I'm a little nervous that we're gonna get there. We're gonna go up there and all we're gonna see is clouds, but whatever, it's fine. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go there and we're also gonna eat at the Food Republic. It's a food court inside. They have other restaurants, but I really wanted to show you the Food Republic. I've eaten there before at a different location here in China, but that food court is amazing. And right now I'm actually starting this video here at the Bund. The Bund is like the main spot. The Bund is a picturesque waterfront area that extends one mile along the west bank of Hongpo River. The Bund is also known as the Watan, and it's one of Shanghai's most famous tourist destinations. Obviously, you gotta come here, you have to walk around. As you can see, it's, it's really wide. From here, you get incredible views of Pudong, all the skyscrapers. You all see a lot of boats coming through. I mean, so many people here. I mean, lots of tourists. And you don't even see that many foreigners. You see more Chinese tourists, because a lot of people in China are traveling all around China, exploring China. This is an amazing place. Luckily, today, it's not so cold. It's only 51 degrees. Usually, if you come out here, and it's really cold, plus the wind from the river. It's like too much. Let's go explore the Bund, and then cross over to Shanghai Tower. Are you guys ready? Let's go see the Shanghai Tower, the second largest largest tower in the world. Follow me. So the Bund has like 52 different buildings and they're all very historical. You got banks, international trading houses, American Club, newspaper, uh, Masonic Club, the Shanghai Club. Just so many different types of buildings. You have the Russian and British consulates here. And the architecture, as you can see, it's like a mix of eclectic romance revival, Gothic revival, Renaissance revival, Baroque revival, neoclassic. Uh, so many different types of architecture here. You know, I really like the bun. It's really a beautiful pedestrian like promenade. Really nice, super clean. It's actually a lot of security, so you can't even stand on these benches. Like if you want to get a little higher, they keep telling you to get off, so don't even try it. And yeah, I mean, from here you get the best, the best views of the towers. You know, Pudong is just incredible. This is like the most iconic shot right now in China. Just looking over there, it's just so beautiful. And yeah, I mean, basically you just walk around, you look, you can walk the whole thing, you know, mile long, but I don't need to do that. I mean, this is enough getting right here to this spot, looking over the skyscrapers is perfect. And now the best way to get over there is to cross, you know, get on the street and look for a blue, blue cab. Look for the blue taxis, they're actually the cheapest, and it's very cheap. It's gonna cost me like, not even like 20 yen to get over there, which is like three bucks or something, four dollars. So I'm just walking down here, I'm gonna look for a taxi, and then we're gonna go over there and see the Shanghai Tower. I'm so excited because last time I came here, it wasn't open, it was built, but it wasn't open. You know, once the buildings get constructed, it takes a few years for them to actually fill it up. You know, they have to build everything in the interior, which takes forever. Quick change of plans, I'm gonna take the Bun Sightseeing Tunnel to cross the river. Instead of crossing, you know, with a taxi, I've done that before, I'm gonna take this Bun Sightseeing Tunnel. I've never seen this, I didn't even know it existed. Basically, it's a tunnel that goes under, and it's uh, there's sightseeing inside, so I don't know exactly what that means. We're gonna go inside and check it out. Let's go. Hey, the tunnel and uh, top of Shanghai Tower. One way, one way. One person. Yes. Combine the sightseeing tunnel and the top of the Shanghai Tower, and it's how much? 225? Yeah. 225. So that's, that's a good deal. Okay. Perfect. One way ticket. Bam, let's go. Sushi. All right, I'm excited. I have no idea what to expect here, but it's a tunnel, so I'm guessing we get into something. This is really amazing. 
And I could have bought a round trip, but I think I'm gonna walk around there and I'll probably take a taxi back to where I have to get to next. So let's just keep going. Whoa. Wow, so we get into this like little cart. This is like, it's like a gondola that goes under. It's really cool. Hello. This bun sightseeing tunnel is pretty cool. It takes you like through heaven and hell, through magma, through the ocean. It's basically a light show that takes you across the river. And that was it. I mean, it literally was like two minutes. Really cool. Never experienced like a tunnel light show like this before. Pretty unique. I mean, why not? Going up these escalators, you're like going through space. You have like Star Trek uh, spaceships here. This is the coolest thing about China is that they do so many things. I mean, they, they give you like attractions where there wasn't one. Like instead of just putting a regular, you know, just a regular uh, tunnel, they made it a cool attraction. And it's worth going through. And now let's go to Shanghai Tower. Now the complicated thing is getting to Shanghai Tower. I mean, it's not so complicated because you see it, but you have to make your way through all these streets. And this is the area, I don't know the exact name, but it's on the side of Pudong. So it's this side of the river. And we have the Oriental Pearl right here. Oriental Pearl is pretty cool. They have an observation deck as well. I went there last time. You know, obviously it was the place to go to before Shanghai Financial Center. And then that was the place to go to until Shanghai Tower. So I've done the other two. I'm gonna do this one now. I mean, if you can, I suggest doing all of them. Really cool experience with this one. One of the coolest parts about this area is that they have this like walkway above the street so you don't walk on sidewalks in the street. You can do that if you want, but the best thing to do is come up here to this walkway and from here you have awesome views of all the skyscrapers. So you can see the Oriental Pearl behind me, you have Shanghai Tower over here. I mean really nice and it's so clean and it's just beautiful and this connects to all the buildings so as you can see like every building has like a walkway or escalator that goes onto this like i guess it's like a sky skyway sky pedestrian way pretty nice i like this i bought it before i bought it last time but now shanghai tower has no clouds so we're going to be able to get awesome views Oh, I'm so excited guys, I'm so excited. As soon as you start approaching the tower, you really can see how massive it is. It is so freaking tall, over 2,000 feet. It's the, the only other building taller than it is the Burj Khalifa in Dubai. Yeah, Shanghai Tower, guys. This is like, look at it, it's right there. So here we go, the observatory is right here and it goes up to the 118th floor, 1,700 plus feet. Wow, and then uh, you can either buy tickets here, but I bought it over there at the Bun Sightseeing Tunnel. So, let's go inside. Hello. Hello, just Thank you. So excited, so freaking excited. The ticket to go to the top of the Shanghai, or the observatory, is 180 yen, so it's like 30 US dollars. It's definitely worth it because it's tied as the highest observatory in the world. And here we have a little history, a little bit of everything that's happened. But where's the elevator? We're like in a maze here, this is nuts. The Shanghai Tower elevator to the top of the Shanghai is the world's fastest high-speed elevator. It goes 1,230 meters per minute, or 20 meters per second, really fast. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Shanghai Tower. Now we are taking the world's fastest high-speed elevator. The fastest speed is 18 meters per second. 仅五十五秒便可到达上海之间观光厅 In only 55 seconds We will reach observatory of Shanghai Tower 118层到了,祝您参观愉快 We have arrived at 118 floor That was so fast, like 55 seconds. My ears like popped big time. Oh, through the pressure. Oh, here we go. Top of the Shanghai. We have like a huge fog here. Huge fog, you can't see barely anything. It's nuts. So we have a huge fog. You can barely see straight, but you can see down. And as you can see, the Oriental Pearl is right there and it looks tiny. And that was the tallest tower 
for many years. I mean, crazy. It's a super tall. This is the double super tall. Double. It's a mega tall. Wow. Look at that. Just the views over the river are incredible. I mean, I actually like the fog. It like gives it a little bit of a charm, you know, in a sense, like this is how China is, you know, pollution, fog, really cool. I mean, just overlooking this entire area, it's like every skyscraper that looked tall was tiny. You have like, you know, helicopter pads all over the place, the river. Shanghai Financial Center Tower is right there, and their observation deck looks like tiny right here. I mean, it must be like 50 floors less. 118th floor. I think this is the highest I've ever been. If you want to get an amazing picture, come right here next to the Shanghai Financial Center Tower. The image is incredible. This is like the images that people used to get with like drones. But from here, right now, I mean, the photo is epic. Wow, what a view. 546 meters high. 118th level. China, you've outdone yourself. Even though there's smog, the views are incredible. Like, they really are breathtaking just so high and they also have another level so 119th floor okay let's go up there luckily we don't have to pay to go one floor higher I mean it's not gonna make a big difference but I think there's also like a lounge up here so you can get a drink or something what is it yeah lounge 552 drink shop yeah that's it so landmarks and stuff so up here actually they give you a little bit of the history of what this place looked like Man, it's like, it's changed so rapidly. Only like in, when I was born, this is how Shanghai was. Super flat, super flat. And then out of nowhere, skyscraper, boom. And yeah, actually from up here you don't see anything. From up here, just like straight smog. Well, and you can see a little more. Woo, look at that, look how bright it is. This gives you a little more perspective on how tall this tower is. Everything's super short, and this thing is over 2,000 feet high. And this is lounge 552, so 552 meters high. And it's basically just a little cafe. They have coffee, they have tea, and that's it. Let's go back downstairs. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you have The elevator on the way down only goes 10 meters per second, so it goes half the speed that it does on the way up. And uh, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go look for that food court, Food Republic, Food Republic. And they also have a Shanghai Tower collection here, which is basically their store. They have a lot of cool stuff. I think the coolest thing right here is like the, the like the anime, like cartoon style hat. Really cool, but it was like 40 bucks for a hat. They're nuts. And Food Republic is right here at the exit of the observation deck. Food Republic. I love it because Food Republic has so many delicious Chinese things. Look right here. So many delicious things. You got spicy, you have dumplings, you have soups, you have like Szechuan dishes. Man, it's like, I cannot wait. Let's go inside here and eat. The way Food Republic works is that there's many different like small restaurants and then you just sit down at one and you order, right? That's how it works. So many though. I mean, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, easy like 20, 25. Just walk around look at the menus and see what you like. Everything looks so good. Like everything looks freaking amazing. Some of these like duck with sticky rice. I uh, got some bowls. What else we got here? Wow, dude, I don't even know duck dishes so I decided to stop first at this place I don't know the name but they have all these dishes I'm gonna go to stir-fried beef ho fan oyster sauce vegetables and lemon tea only 35 yen so like five bucks looks pretty good looks like a really filling dish let's try it this restaurant's name is hoki I paid 35 yen for the beef ho fan I got a number put it right here and I wait easy basically it's like a nice food court and the restaurants have like the mini restaurants have like their sections but you can also sit out there like you know far away if you want to like in the middle right and uh yeah i mean this this might be my only dish because it looks really big and if it's not that filling i will get something else and here we go the stir fried beef hofon and it's basically beef got some eggs got some what else is in here some herbs and we have some like huge noodles and we have some sprouts oh that's so delicious mm. 
Oh my god, I love the sauce. Mmm. Oh, so refreshing with the vegetables in here. As you can see, it's a massive dish with noodles. Mmm. So tasty. So earthy. Mmm. When I think about Chinese food, this is what I think about. I think about like big dishes with noodles, some meats. Not that much beef, but I love the amount of noodles. Mmm. Well, if you're into noodles, you'll love these. They're a little thicker than like thin noodles. They're not like fast noodles, they're like thick. The thing I like the most about these noodles is the sauce. There's no spice. It's just like a nice, rich sauce. Just pick it up like that. Get a nice amount, you know, get a nice mix of beef, noodles, and some vegetables. So good. Almost feels like a little slimy. Mmm, I love it. I love the textures. Wow, and the amount of egg in here too. Really good flavor. It's an affordable lunch. 35 yen, you get this much, you know? You can't eat like two of these plates. It's too much. Mmm, it's so good. If you're into noodles, this is one dish you have to try in China. There's also some tea right here. Wow. Nice like black tea. So the only way to finish these noodles is to grab this spoon, put everything on it. And that's the only way because you can't grab it anymore with the with chopsticks. Mm. Those noodles were super delicious but extremely filling. I couldn't even attempt another dish. It was so good though. Yeah guys, so we explored the bund, we crossed through the tunnel, we saw that little like light show down there. Then we came here to the Shanghai Tower, the second tallest tower in the world, and we went up to the top of the Shanghai. 118th floor, 1,790 plus feet. Incredible views from up there. And then we came down to the Food Republic and had delicious beef noodles, stir fry noodles. Oh, it was so good. I mean, it was such a great experience. When you come to Shanghai, you have to come visit this tower. It's like, it's the number one thing to do. Go up there. It's tied for the highest observation deck in the world. A must visit, a must visit. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below and subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content. I'll see you in the next travel food adventure in Shanghai, China. Peace.